question for you. Senator Palin. Senator Palin. I have a question for you. Senator Palin. We have a big announcement to to make. Uh, uh, I, I'm going to be a grandfather. Well, I, I'm not going to be a grandfather, but it's, uh, you know what? It's Governor Palin's news. Why don't we just let Governor Palin tell the news? Governor Palin, everybody. Thank you, Senator McCain. Hello, my fellow Americans. It's Sarah Palin, uh, currently the luckiest woman on the face of the planet. Yeah. And as Senator McCain said, we have big news. Um, my oldest daughter is pregnant. And now, before the liberal media goes crazy saying how ironic it is that the family values candidate has an unwed pregnant teenage daughter and how abstinence education doesn't work. My daughter Bristol has a brief statement. All right, first of all, I just want to say that my baby's father is not John Edwards. What? Secondly, look, I'm still totally a virgin. All right, I'm saving myself for marriage and all of you young girls should too. All right, this is what happened to me though. I was at home and I was reading my Bible before bed and the angel Gabriel came to me and he said, hey gorgeous, don't be afraid, but you're gonna conceive in your womb and bear a son. And I was like, how is that even possible? Because I'm like still totally a virgin. And he was all, well, there are forces at work that are beyond your understanding. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> So to sum up, I'm pregnant, I'm uh, still a virgin, and I'm going to get married to my older boyfriend who's so handsome and he's a carpenter. Jesus. And the baby whose name is Jesus is what? due on December 25th. Oh. I'm so proud of my daughter. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Yeah. It'll be a miracle if we get elected after that. Straight talk, straight talk, don't try BS me. Just tell me how